basically had to raise myself. I don't know how to swim. I never even learned how to ride a bike. What about Mr. Mitty? Remember him? What? No, what's that? Mr. Mitty, I, I used to put an oven mitt in my hand. He would cheer you up all the time when you were sad. Don't be upset, young man. I'm your best friend. Even though I'm an oven man. No, I don't remember that, okay? You know what I do remember? You making me drive you home from the beach because you got too drunk. It makes sense to me. When somebody's hammered, they have another guy drive home. I was eight. So, you have just seen a scene from That's My Boy starring Adam Sandler and this guy here, Andy Samberg. That's right, that's me. You get to work with Adam Sandler and you get to be his son. Yes. What more can you ask for? I, I've got nothing left. It, what is it? I'm free to roam the earth. He's always been this kind of icon of everything to you, hasn't he? He has, yeah. He every, told me that. Is that you know, so <laughs> that's what he <laughs> told he you? He saying, yeah. He's like, the kid loves me. He loves me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, in... Yeah, for first ever since he was on SNL, I was obsessed with him. I had his early albums and his his early movies. I I had Billy Madison on audio cassette, and I would listen to it on my headphones on, on my Walkman. Audio cassette. Yeah. That is a fan. That's a fan. That is. That's, that's, I'm that's, the real deal. That is. You are seriously a fan <laughs> to do that. So just for those people who can't tell from that brief two fleeting moment uh -huh. of that's my boy. Yeah. Can you do, in like 60 seconds flat, Yeah. tell us everything we need to know about That's My Boy, and okay. you'll be timed. The story is about a kid who has uh, an affair with his teacher in high school, results in a pregnancy, she goes to jail, he has to raise the kid, he's a terrible dad because he's a teenager himself. Cut to present day, I'm the grown up son, I've disbanded from the father because he's a, an embarrassment to me and told everyone my parents exploded. It's my wedding week. Sandler's my dad. He's kind of a lovable dirtbag. He shows up looking for money, uh, and we sort of reconnect slash butt heads. 58, 59, 60. And it's a hard R. Hard R. Yeah. It's hard R. <laughs> so it's like really dirty. It's very raunchy. It's Sandler. Uh, look, you can either trust me or not. but I'm it, trusting you right now. It's, San, it's a return to form for Sandler mm -hmm. uh, if you're a fan of his early stuff, of his early albums, of his early movies. It's him playing a crazy guy, like a lovable crazy guy. But he's like cursing all over the place. It's very raunchy. Uh, and I've been in a couple of screenings and it's kind of played through the roof. So I'm really excited about it. He doesn't beat up Bob Barker again, though. He doesn't, but, but I get in a fight with James Caan. It's almost as good. It's almost as good. He, and a he's lot like of a Corleone. I mean, You're having. A I mean, James Caan is a significantly better actor than Bob Barker, <laughs> but Sandler maybe is better than me. So that's so cruel. It's an unprovoked personal attack against Barker. Look, I genius got, I got nothing against Barker. Okay, you he sure? brings the thunder. You're sure he does, he does <laughs> bring the thunder to do it. So what was it like then with you and Adam working together in this kind, not just uh, doing a bit on a show, but right. doing this whole movie together? How is he in this movie like your real dad? Um, it's, you know, in actual real life, he treats me kind of like a younger brother mm -hmm. uh, and definitely mentors me. He gives me a lot of, you know, pointers and support and stuff. So. I think he got into the into the role of being my dad. Like he definitely took me under his wing and took care of me a lot in the shooting and making of the movie. What's what is an Adam Sandler set like? Is it <laughs> is, because we all think, oh God, you know, they're just sitting there having fun. <laughs> There's no such thing as a script. It's just all happening. And I think you're going to tell me it's like doing a Werner Herzog film. I'm going to go closer to the first, closer to the former. It's pretty fun. He's got, you know, a crew of people around him that he's very familiar with. He, he hires a lot of the same people for all his movies. Mm -hmm. And then on set, there's a, a very uh, a giving openness about like, hey, can we top that joke? You know, I pitched him tons of joke for his character. He would pitch back to me. You know, he had writer buddies on set pitching jokes. So we'd like mm -hmm. do a take. You walk back to the monitors and watch it. Think maybe we can do better with this. Maybe we can do better with that. Keep shooting and ended up with a lot of really funny stuff. How do you know when it's a movie? If you're doing Saturday Night Live, there's an mm -hmm. audience. Yeah. And they're laughing. Yeah. Or they're not. Yeah. You know? <laughs> or you can imagine people laughing or not. But in a, on a movie set, who's the audience that you guys are playing <laughs> to, except yourselves? The best case scenario is the director yells cut and the whole crew starts laughing. That's when you're like, oh, they were holding it in the whole time. This is definitely working. 
The second best is you go back to the monitors and watch it back and everyone's laughing. You never know if it's going to be a good movie, if the story's going to work. But you know, you know more or less like, oh, these are good jokes that will make human beings laugh. I think that's the best you can hope for <laughs> when you're in the middle of it. What yeah. about <laughs> some creatures from Prometheus? You know? Well, what about alien life forms? It depends. Why leave them out? If they're into like a raunchy R-rated uh, party romp through through Cape Cod, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> then yeah. What alien is it? Uh, as far as I know, all of them. Mm, they're all for it. Yeah, maybe so, like the, the aliens from Tremors. Are they even aliens? I don't think so. They just, they're just they're like under the ground Earth and they dwellers. tremor. Yeah, they, they yeah. don't laugh at anything. They just they tremor. tremor. <laughs> yeah, they just, that's what they do. <laughs> just, <laughs> and then they pop up. So if you were looking at the work of Sandler, yeah. looking back on it, and we, you're telling me how you listen to things on there, but what's the... Yeah. What is the Adam Sandler movie? What to tell the people out there that have somehow missed the whole Adam Sandler experience? <laughs> what are the two Adam Sandler movies they need to see to prepare for That's My Boy? For That's My Boy? Uh -huh. That's My Boy is, tonally I would say it falls closer to uh, like a Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, or a Zohan because he's playing kind of a lovable crazy person. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's also unlike any of those movies because of the rating, the hard R. So it's it's kind of breaking new ground, and it also looks great. Like, you know, not that those movies look bad, but it looks big. It feels like slick. It almost has like a Wedding Crashers kind of a feel to it. Um, and there is, in fact, you know, a plot leading to a wedding in the movie. So uh, it feel to me watching it, it feels like kind of an entirely new thing. But it also has a familiar feel in terms of. My personal favorite kind of Sandler comedy is is all over it. Mm -hmm. He's worked with Paul Thomas Anderson on Punch yeah. Drunk Love. It's a Just completely different thing. One of my favorite movies. And ever then made, I think yeah. the best performance he's ever given is in Funny People mm -hmm. for Judd Apatow, yeah, which so is good. about all of yeah. those things. Yeah. And then he does these things that he does because it makes him happy. Right. Yeah. Which but, is great. I mean, I think it all makes him happy, yeah. from what I understand, but. This is what makes him laugh. Mm -hmm. It was definitely what made me laugh. We were dying the whole time shooting. It was fun. What's uh, the dirtiest thing he made you do? Gosh. You could say it on this show. There's a... Um, we are rated. There's a sequence in which his, uh, his manhood is flopping around in my face mm -hmm. through the shorts. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a scene in which I have to gather up an armada of sticky tissues. I'll describe it that way. Mm -hmm. um, Very good. <laughs> Things like that. So censor pleasing you are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's I want, you know, yes. I want this to air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, again, were the two key elements of a Nicolas Cage movie? Uh, they were, um, all, all the lines are either whispered or screamed, mm -hmm. and everything's on fire. 